So assalamu alaikum. I think we are back again. So yes, this is second part of facial recognition attendance system with liveness check. Uh, in last part, we did this facial recognition where the model recognizes faces I have like Elon Musk, Bill Gates, and me uh, in the database. It recognizes like three of us. So if I show like Elon Musk, it, it like recognizes Elon and, and, it, and it recognizes me. In this part, we are going to add a liveness detection to it so that that uh, if I show a picture of Elon, it shouldn't, uh, you know, detect Elon like that. And it should tell that it's like a, just a picture of Elon, not Elon himself. So, of course, uh, it will add like a layer of security, like imagine an attendance system in which a student can mark another student attendance by sh just showing their picture onto the like uh, on uh, there's just picture on uh, camera. How secure or usable does that attendance system will be right. So we are going to add a liveness check to it so that it only detects people like real people not pictures like faces from like the like the real picture of course that like no liveness detection set is 100 percent accurate unless you add some hardware to it like like iphones which uses uh which like maps your face with all those uh infrared lights and everything so we will use a model which i found from github I am unable to find out where I got that model. There was like a pretend model. We can also train uh, like a model, like a convol convolution layer, where we have like different pictures which are from photos, and some picture which which were like directly taken from camera, and like train our model to figure out which to like to get trained on to identify which are fake pictures. Like fake means that like the photo of faces, and which are like the real faces. Uh, but I found like a pre-trained model which worked like pretty well. I'm unable to find out the GitHub repository because like a long time ago I downloaded it. So I'm going to uh, put that model in my GitHub repository and you can download it from there. I already have it here. It's the liveness.model, right? So you can use it, uh, download it and use it. But uh, I just want to say that it's like I didn't train it. Like I can, of course, if you like, let me know in comments if you want me to train a model which can detect uh, different, uh, like a, a picture of faces and faces. Like it can differentiate between that. Of course, we'll need like a database, like one database where like a person is showing like a picture of a face, and we can like, you know crop that and train our model to find uh, the difference between that. But yeah, right now we are going to use like a ready-made, already trained model that is live start model. So we're gonna do that. Let's uh, get to it. All right. So I think we can start. First, we need to import TensorFlow. So it's for liveness, 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 right? So it it runs on TensorFlow. So we're gonna do import TensorFlow SDF, right? Next, we'll need NumPy. So I have also added NumPy. Right. Um, of, of uh, this model actually takes 32 by 32 images, right? So we'll need CV2 to resize our images with 32 by 32. It also just takes faces. So of course we'll need to like crop the face part and give it, give that to our model. So let's import our model first. So model is liveness dot model, and then we can save our model into tf dot keras dot models dot load model i think let's just import tensorflow first it just it can give me uh, it can like you know append and the syntax directly so load model and we can give model so first we you know loaded model and then we have we then we loaded our model into model so we have like lives liveness model successfully imported what we need to do next and now the thing is to the model we don't need to give like the whole frame we only need to give it the face so we need to crop the face and give it to the model 
so if we if we look here these are the coordinates of the phase is x minimum y minimum and x max y max y so if we go there and we make an image just for liveness liveness we can crop this portion like x minimum y minimum and x max y max portion of the photo which is which will which will actually be the face and give it to our model right to check if if that face if, if it thinks if that face is uh, real or not right so how can we do that the, the good like one way of doing that is we can like we are making like an image for uh, aliveness and we can do that we can just write frame and what portion of the frame do i need i need y minimum y maximum and x minimum x maximum right so with that it will only take that box of the image so let's say i have a full frame right i had i had this frame our d face model already detects the coordinates for our face all right so let's say this is like a person in the face and d face already detects the coordinates of the face with these coordinates as x minimum y minimum right and the, these as x maximum y maximum so so if we write frame and y maximum y minimum y maximum and x minimum x maximum it will only crop out this region which is inside the box so that's how we can like crop out like particular section of a, a particular section from a frame right so that's how we can do it because the liveness model only needs the face part uh, of the frame so let's we can like do that so now we have like the fake face part of the frame from the frame we need to resize it so you can do image is equals to cv2 dot resize we have to import cv2 I have it executed cv2 so cv2 dot resize and what do we need we need to resize image into 32 by 32 because the model only takes 32 by 32 images that's the input of the model do check out the first part in order to uh, know that like uh, what what the, like all of this code is it's like a d face code and everything so it detects it like it recognizes the face so images we are going to convert into 32 by 32 then we need to normalize this image that means that only we only need uh, values from 0 to 1 so we're gonna divide the whole image by 255 right so we can do is image dot as type right image dot as type and we can give it image all right we can we, we need to convert it into float and we need to divide by 255.0 right so we just normalize that image next we need to do is we can now predict our model right so this is our model we can do tf dot uh, keras dot preprocessing that's not the prediction part that is we are converting this image uh, to be able to be processed by the by our model so we can just convert to image to array we can be converting image this image into an array so that it's like you know flattened and be able to like like we are making the inputs uh, appropriate for our model right so we are like pre-processing the input and converting our image to array in like tensorflow form so that the model can uh, accept it same as in pytorch we convert them into torch now we need to add a, a dimension models don't take like similarly in pytorch models don't take just three dimension inputs they are they need four dimension which is like a batch size so one way of adding a batch size just to give batch size one right so numpy dot expand 
optimize and ex expand ex expand the uh, dimensions right and we can say dimension and we can give x is zero so batch size one or zero i guess so we just need to add fourth dimension which is the batch size and now we can predict so we can write res results or we can size liveness is equals to model dot predict right model dot predict and what do we need to predict we need to predict image now after predicting the image it will give out this model spits out an output like this there's like an array there's like another array and in that there are two values right the first one is how much it is confident that it is fake and the second one how much it is like the model is confident that the face is real right so we only need like the we we, we only need to know that which element in this array has bigger value right so one way of doing that is selecting this array and then uh, applying argmax to it which will spit out the index of uh, the biggest element right so let's say fake is uh, fake's number is bigger so, it, so 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 we can like ask for it that what's like the argmax it will say zero that means like the element at, at zero has like a bigger number and if real number is bigger it will say one that the element has one has a uh, bigger number so we can know that if if liveness like uh, if uh, liveness if it gives liveness the first array of course there's going to be only one error so the first array and we apply arg max to it so if liveness is zero that means the picture is fake if liveness comes out to be one that means the face is real it thinks the face is real right so of course after getting the results we also need to show it on our screens so we can just put text we can, we can put text so we can say cv2 dot put text let's say we just need uh the number just like uh just below the uh, bounding boxes for the faces so we can do put text we we know we need to write text on the frame then we can add string liveness right so it's gonna say zero or it's gonna say one then we'll know that it's fake or real where do we want to put it put the number let's say we want to put it below the bounding boxes so the x coordinates will be x minimum and y maximum plus some number so plus 25 we can do that so x minimum y maximum plus 25 and then we can add after giving coordinates you can write cv2 dot bond tertius simplex that's like a go to font of course you can play with it change your font and everything i want scale to be one i want color to be red rgb right it's, 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 it's kind of red i want the boldness to be two and i can actually do a line cv2 dot line double line so let's execute it and see what happens all right so we're here let's execute it and see if it does liveness check or not hopefully we won't get any errors in this okay we are here so you, as you can see there's like zero and one so mostly it thinks that i'm real right is zero means fake one means real so there's like one it's like mostly it's one sometimes it's zero but mostly it's one if i try to shake uh, if i try to show not shake if i try to show elon musk's picture which is of course a uh, photo so it says zero so it's like pretty confident that this picture is fake right pretty confident so it says zero no 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 like here it says one here it says zero so we can you know there can be multiple there can be like multiple 
Uh, okay, Let's see. So there can be like multiple ways we can do that. This is one here. Uh, we can, you know, take multiple results for like 50 frames or 100 frames and find out that what are what what were like the maximum predictions for the frame but yeah it like gives pretty good results if we like make our own like if you like train our own model to to detect uh between fake and real faces i think we can like train it more but yeah that's for some other video so that's how you, you detect it you, you can also uh, write fake or real instead of this so how how we can do that I'll press Q. I think it's, it's on Q, right? Yeah. So if I press Q, land it. So if I write, um, yeah, I can just do that. I can. Uh, this is here, right? So I I can write if if liveness is equal to one. Write that, write real, else do take the same a line and just write fake, right? And also, let's give it some other color. So, I'm gonna give it white. Very, very pretty hard to see that blue color on my blue shirt. So, let's start this and see what happens. See, it's, it's a real. So you have to be like pretty good. It's also pretty good. And if we show Elon Musk's, it says fake. Let's see if we can find another picture of him. And the picture of his, it says fake. All right? So that's how you do it. Uh, this is the liveness check. In next video, we'll be converging. Uh, facial detection and liveness check with exit integration. We'll also be using Pygame to make a facial recognition attendance system where, like, uh, the model or the project will recognize your face and you'll be able to uh, en enter your attendance and that which will be saved in an Excel file and we'll be able to extract the records and change the records and everything so yeah until next time next video